Chang'an, the capital of the Tang Dynasty around 750 AD, was the biggest city in the world at the time, home to one million of people. Now, a Chinese startup, Parametrics AI, is bringing the ancient metropolis back to life with its living Chang'an city project. Hi, I'm Lisa, and this is Threshold in China, a segment that gives you a taste of the future before it actually happens. Today, let's take a look at the breakthroughs made by Chinese companies and AI as showcased in Living in Chang'an City. The city is populated by a few hundred non-player characters (NPCs), each with AI behind them, and has its own personality and goals. Each NPC can decide how to spend its day, playing social roles such as dancers, merchants, patrolmen, storytellers, or even criminals. They have total autonomy on how to fulfill these roles. For example, the storyteller can talk about anything they want, and the audience can decide whether or not to listen. Sometimes unexpected things happen. A dancer with an unbalanced personality might get into a barrel with a customer. Their personalities are defined in three dimensions: happiness, patience, and favorability. This ill-tempered dancer has zero favorability, which makes her more likely to get into fights, even when there are other options. Luckily, the customer happens to be a well-mannered young scholar, so they reconcile quickly. What's more, after this incident, she seems to have a crush on a young man and skips her dancing job for a date with him. And it turns out she's not the only one who's playing a hooky. The police also sometimes take breaks and go into a bar, and they will go back to work when they run out of money. All of these behaviors are based on the results of the decision models in the NPC's mind. The decision model considers nine variables: money, happiness, curiosity, fear, romance, etc. Living Chang'an City is like a test version of an AI society that works on its own. It's got AI characters who can affect each other at different social levels. They can keep coming up with new events in Chang'an City and gradually building a vast blueprint similar to Westworld. To make this happen, there is a tech system called Gaia that can build an AI NPC ecosystem. Gaia is the first step in exploring a smart society. It can stimulate countless virtual scenes. As we can see, it is a complex system containing a group of interacting decision makers. Their behaviors are influenced by feedback and common social sense, and they can adjust their strategies based on past situations. Thanks to the reinforcement learning AI we discussed in previous episodes, the startup Parametrics AI has built two subsystems for Gaia: the environment and the so-called Soul module. The environment consists of a physical environment and a social environment. The social environment allows AI NPCs to interact and provide feedback at all times. It also records information such as language, behavior, and the relationship between NPCs. The social environment is key to Gaia's feedback mechanism. It has the common sense of human society, including feelings like happiness and hope, social knowledge, and norms. To make this work, the AI NPCs must be automatic. With their own interests and personalities, as if they have souls. For example, the soul module gave the dancer a romantic and artistic personality. It records her imprints in Chang'an, such as her secret dates. The soul module creates these automatic AI NPCs. It defines the roles of AI NPCs, endows them with personalities and goals, and records various events in the life of AI NPCs in the virtual scene. The soul module and the environment interact with each other, constantly influencing one another, and keep the AI society running smoothly. Technically, the soul module consists of upper and lower layer models, the boss and the follower. The boss is the top dog, using a long sequence strategic model to come up with macro strategy for an NPC. The follower is a multitask model that executes specific decision making behaviors based on the boss strategy. These two layers interact through the memory of the AI NPC, which is essential for their stimulated consciousness. 
The memory integrates the past and the present to shape the future. The memory has two important elements, the internal state and the memorized events. The internal state is a result of the AI NPC's personality combined with short and long-term goals. Memorized events are NPC's past experiences. Together, these elements form the AI NPC's consciousness and decision-making process. For instance, why would the dancer we mentioned earlier cancel her dance practice to go out with a scholar she barely knows? The reason is that the dancer is a highly romantic artist, and a sweet date is a good choice when she's in the mood. However, the decision is not just a romantic impulse. When deciding to skip work, the dancer also considers the relationship between her date, the short-term goals, and becoming the chief dancer which is her long-term career goal, and reflects on her past relevant experiences. After careful thinking, the dancer ultimately decides to skip work and go to the restaurant for the date. From here, we can see that AI NPC with a soul module not only have differences, but also make decisions due to their different personalities and past experiences. At the same time, each decision of the AI NPCs will also be influenced by the environmental system. If the dancer has a different personality and past experiences, or if the environment was different, the story would have unfolded differently. In this way, every scene is multi-node and non-linear, and every NPC has a number of choices at any given node, and countless storylines can emerge. If the number of NPCs increases dramatically, the number of nodes and the storyline will also grow exponentially. In the AI society created by Gaia, the continuous actions of the AI NPCs create a huge civilization memory bank as time goes by. This memory bank allows past decisions to affect each other's future, resulting in a highly complex dynamic. Human users who sign up for Living Chang'an City will become a member of the vibrant AI society, experiencing multiple lives in the multiverse. This project adds more than just a game, but rather a kind of social experiment to envision a future world we share with ubiquitous AIs. It has been up and running for over 30 days now. If the AI society continues to evolve and interact with human users simultaneously, can we witness the birth of a future society with radical different social institutions and norms in the metaverse? Moreover, if the algorithm trained in the virtual world can be applied to the physical world, will we see a massive number of robots and smart devices forming a society and possibly a civilization of their own? What would come next? As always, we look forward to hearing your thoughts and feedbacks.